for this spring, um, where are you working at? Are you at right tackle, left tackle, doing a little bit of both? What's the what's the plan for you position wise for the spring? Um, right now, position wise, um, you know, coach is trying to find the the best combination of guys out there. Um, I wrote that right last year. Wrote that left guard uh, my fr my freshman year. I'm playing a little left right now, but like I say, nothing set in stone. Right now, uh, coach is just trying to find the best spot to put on the field. Okay, we'll go to Mike Rodak. Yeah, Evan, just what's been your impression so far of, of Coach Marone um, along the offensive line there? He's a great coach. He's extremely knowledgeable. You know, he pushes us to be great, and that's what I respect about him the most. And I'm just excited to continue to work with him. Okay, questions for Evan? We'll go to Michael Casagrande. Michael, go ahead. Yeah, what do you see with this offense uh, changes? Like, what's, what's the most different this year with so many guys gone? From from last year's team, like as far as like a, a personnel standpoint, like like what do you mean? For the difference between guys? Yeah. Oh, I mean, losing guys like Mac and Smitty and different leaders like that definitely takes a toll. But you know, this this is Alabama. We keep reloading. You know, talent's always coming up. You know, springtime's right now for us to develop that talent and for for that talent to get better. You know, I'm confident in the group of guys we have now. You know, and I'm just excited to continue to work. Uh, specifically to the O line, um, you know, it, it was a lot losing Alex and Landon and uh, and and Deontay as well. But you know, like I said, we still have Chris Owens, Emil, and and myself. You know, the, the the bring to that experience. And as far as the younger guys go, you know, we're just trying to get them to understand how to work and you know, trying to transition them into being you know, college offensive linemen. You know, like I said, I have faith in all of those guys, and you know, I'm just excited to continue to work with. Them. We'll go to Charlie Potter. You mentioned Alex and Landon and Deontay. Just what have you learned from playing with those guys? And how important is it for you starting this spring to kind of step up into more of a leadership role? One thing I can say, you know, playing with those guys, especially Landon, you know, just showing me, you know, what it takes to be a leader and how to lead guys. And, you know, a leadership position is a role that I do want to assume. But that's not a role that's given. That's something that has to be earned each day, day in and day out. You know, so I'm I'm up for the challenge. You know, every day I'm just gonna come ready to work. We'll go to AP Setem. Hey Evan, uh, Evan, how did you integrate fully into the system as a young player? And then what in turn would you tell these young players or people who've been in the reserve how to be fully integrated into that offensive line system? Um, well. What helped me a lot as a young guy, like I was playing playing alongside a lot of experienced guys, so that helped out a lot as well. And also the fact of me coming in early, that helped out. That helped out, you know, in a tremendous way in terms of you know me transforming my body, you know, as far as me giving 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 me a head start to you know just get into the playbook and everything. So my advice to some of the younger guys is just to continue to work every day and just find something every day to get better at. You know. We'll go back to Michael Casagrande. On those lines, what do you remember about when you came in as a true freshman uh, spring practice? What was that like? What were those first week of, of practice was like for you? Man, that was a while ago. I mean, but looking back, I can just remember how bad, how hard I wanted to work and, you know, how bad I wanted to make a good impression on the coaches, you know. And looking back from then to now, you know, I can just see the uh, a big transformation in my game, you know. So I'm just continue, I'm just going to continue to build upon that transformation and continue to get better. We will go to Tony Sakalas. Tony. Hey, Evan. How, how much progress have you seen from Damian George, and what has he been like from year one to year two? Um, like I said, I've seen a lot of progress from Damian. You know, our O-line unit, we're still a work in progress. We still have a lot of work to do, but as far as Damian himself, you know, he's a guy, he's a hard worker, you know, and I'm excited for him, man. He's a great guy. He's, 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 a, he's a great guy to be around, and, you know, I feel like he's a good player. But like I said, we still got work that needs to be done. And that's what the spring is all about. Unless we got any more, we'll finish up with Charlie Potter. You talked about working some at left tackle. Uh, obviously, you've you've been all over the offensive line these first two years at Alabama. Just being at, at left tackle, some does that feel more comfortable to you? Do you feel at home there? Um, like I say, in high school, like I was recruited as a left tackle. But at this point in my career, I played so many different positions that really any position on the O-line is comfortable for me. So, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I guess you could say that because that's what I was recruited as, but I'm a guy that can play anywhere on the offensive line.
Okay, we're going to finish up with a follow-up from Tony. Hey, Evan, if you've already answered this, I'm sorry. I had some technical difficulties, but have you, uh, how has the been working under Doug Marone? Uh, how has that been, you know, the first few practices of camp? Uh, like I said, so far it's been great. You know, he's a guy that really wants to, you know, get the most out of his players. And like I said, that's what I respect about him. You know, I just want to continue to gain knowledge and wisdom of the game from him and just continue to get better. Okay, Evan, thank you. All right, thank you. Evan, we're going to have to get a mic stand a little taller for you. Okay, with that, we will bring Jordan Battle up. You got questions from Jordan? Go ahead, use the raise your hand function. And when he gets settled in, we'll get started. Okay, we'll start uh, with questions from Tony Sakala. Tony, do you have a question? Okay, does anybody have a question? Mike Rodak. Let's try Mike Rodak before uh, Jordan leaves. Yeah, I was just going to say, Jordan, just what's been in your, your impression of uh, Jay Valai so far as, as your coach uh, in the secondary? Obviously, it's Charles Kelly, too, but Jay Valai working with that group as well. Just what has it been like to see him out there? Well, uh, Coach Valai is very energetic. Um, he always brings a smile to the meeting room, you know, and on the football field. He keeps us all energized, and he uh, he's a great leader for the uh, corners. You know, he keeps the corners every day, you know, after practice to get them extra work. And I see the corners progressing every day and getting better. Okay, we'll go to Tony Sakalas this time. Tony, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you hear me? Gotcha. Okay, sweet. Uh, how much progress or how much different is it heading into this year with a group of experienced secondary that, as compared to what it was last year when you guys had to kind of fill in a, a, lot, a lot more different players? Yeah, uh, it just it just challenged us, you know, to become become leaders on the defense. We have to get everybody, including the D line, the linebackers, you know, on the same page as us, and we all have to, you know, combine as one and be that that great voice and great leadership for the for the defense this year. Okay, we'll go to AP Stedham. Hey Jordan, Jordan, I wanted to ask you, how long did you uh, did it take you to learn the playbook? Um, did you feel very comfortable learning the playbook and then also the techniques from your freshman year to whatever point those two things occurred? Uh, learning the playbook, I probably got comfortable, you know, around my freshman year, mid-season. That's probably when I was comfortable with the playbook. But getting to learn the playbook, like, it was a, it was a little difficult. But coming from the high school I came from, St. Thomas, we kind of ran some, some similar things because we had Jason Taylor as a, as a D coordinator. And, you know, he played under Saban, so we kind of had the same defenses that, that he ran for the Dolphins. Okay, we'll go to Michael Casagrande. What do you see from my young guys that are in there, um, that are the early enrollees that were trying to impress? Like, how, how hard do you see them trying? Like, what's that, like, effort level? Uh, does it kind of feel like they're like on an audition trying to prove something to, to the team, to the coaches in their, you know, their first week of football practice there? Yeah, they just understanding the difference between high school and college right now, you know, from being big dogs to now freshmen again, they have to learn, you know, the role. They have to look up to us, you know, see see more of what to do. And, and you know, we have to be leaders and not only say say the things we need to do, but also, like, show them and do the things we need to do. We'll go back to Charlie Potter. Hey, Jordan, uh, you guys have uh, experienced secondary coming back, but you have to replace a guy in, in Patrick Sertan. Just how much are you guys like you and – and Daniel and others just kind of stepping up as leaders to try to fill the the void that he leaves behind in that defense. Yeah, obviously they know they know coming in, you know, they knew Pat was probably going to be going, you know, top pick, you know. So just you know taking that role, of course, that's a big role to fill. But I feel like we're not going to miss a heartbeat, you know, losing Pat. You know, that's what this, uh, that's what Alabama do. We recruit and go get guys to fill spots because people are leaving every year. All right, Pat, that's all we've got for you today. Thanks, guys. We will uh, get you some video and some B-roll, some photos after practice tonight.